G'day guys, I'm um, out having a little bit of fun. Uh, I've got this old Mauser, this um, Carl Gustav uh, 65 by 55 um, that we shot out to 2400 yards. Um, we did that with this, with the, um, with the ladder sight on it. I, it came with a precision shot, this rifle, but I put back on the original ladder sight and got that done. Shooting out extremely long ray, you know, the, on the 24 inch plate and it shot really well. I have to say there's a little bit of my extrapolation or whatever you want to call it, me making that happen, but still that happened and it happened without too many rounds. So I thought about trying to do something a little bit closer um, and something a little more precision because it actually did the 24 inch plate out there not too hard, but it, I wouldn't have been able to, put, able to put down a six shot group on the, on the plate or anything like that. Um, and I think there's a little bit of luck involved with that extreme stuff in this sort of thing that seems to work for me in some reason or other. But anyway, enough about that. What I decided to do was set up a closer target. And I thought, okay, if I hit 24 inch plate right out there at 2400 yards, 2500 yards, I can't remember how far it was exactly. But I've done that without too much trouble. Really, 24 inch plate at 1000 yards, um, that's not going to be enough of a challenge. So I thought, listen, let's try a two litre bottle. Now I know that's actually ridiculously hard and harder still but let's go with holding the mouth on the right angle and see if we can make it happen so we actually came out yesterday morning had a box of ammo well actually 43 rounds of ammo is what I actually had to shoot with um, came out here and set up in the middle which I'll put a little bit of footage but we set it up a two litre bottle the brightest one we could find um, to put it to suit the gravel corner we put it on. Well actually put it in one place, couldn't see it at all and didn't have any landmarks. Put it over in the middle of the corner, um, I should say shot half a dozen rounds, realised we didn't have anything I could hold on. So then we put it in the middle of the corner over there and I'll put that footage on. Okay. Low. Uh, two bottles right, five bottles low. just directly over top, nice and straight, just about half a bottle tall, that was close. <coughs> tall, one, one and a half bottles tall, just like on the right edge, pretty close. and right. One bottle right, three bottles tall. Oh, just off the left edge. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Still, that really had nothing to hold on. Still, really hard to try and do it. And as much as I got super close, it was really about a meter and a half group out there, and I couldn't make any corrections because I really couldn't see anything. So, we decided okay to stop. We shot half our ammo. We we'll stop. We we'll come in and set up again today, this morning. Put a 24-inch plate there and hang the two-liter bottle in front of it. Interesting, not really hearing any traffic or anything, are we? Mm. Trains or trucks or anything. Okay. <clears throat> Good to go. Tall and left. Uh, 
I'm hesitating because the uh, bottle was swaying, but it was like quarter of a target tall, quarter of a target left. Le nine o'clock off left edge of plate, just behind. Ten o'clock, two inches left edge. That made that move around. Yeah, I could see it's way in here. Yeah, okay. Nice big sound out of those plates. Sure is. But we still left. Just a tiny bit. <laughs> left, uh, 12 o'clock nearly. Three inches top edge. It's like 11.30. <laughs> Just above the bottle. <laughs> Tall and left. It was just off the top left corner. So only a tiny bit tall by a couple of inches. Okay, well we're sneaking up on it. Sure are man, on plate. That's a nice sound that comes out of it, isn't it? so close to that bottle. <laughs> Bottom left corner of the bottle. <laughs> left, uh, level with the bottom edge of plate, uh, half target left. from the top, in the top right corner. Somewhere. I can't see where it hit. Oh, just underneath the bottle. <laughs> but now I've missed it. Directly under the base of the bottle. Top right corner, just off target. Top right corner. Top left, sorry, left, sorry. Low. Six o'clock, half target low. Now that blow of a heap of dirt, did it? It did, <laughs> put dirt on. Sound like a noise, maybe it was ricocheted up. Did bottom left corner. <laughs> left, nine o'clock, half target left. Yeah, I thought it might have a bit left. Okay. Low, six o'clock, uh, uh, three quarters of target low. I thought I had that real good. Yeah, okay, nice and straight. Uh, 
right, just off bottom right corner, like eight of target to the right. Well, well, it sort of worked. It, I didn't get the bottle. As you'll see down there, we didn't shoot the bottle. It, um, I shot around it. I just missed it a couple of times and I hit the plate a few times. I had 20 shots on target. About five of them, maybe eight of them, were getting to where it made all sense. I'd learned a bit from yesterday, but making sense of things. I ended up using the 800 meter, so that's sort of 880 yards. But I'm shooting, well, I have none to show you now, but I have the 140 grain um, Berger, uh, Berger hybrid target bullet that I'm shooting in there. Um, I'm just shooting a moderate load of the 2290 powder. Um, so up in pressure, but not too much. Um, and that's it. The only other things I've done in cheating, I suppose, is I'm using a front rest um, and I'm using my rear adjustable rest down the back here to get myself up so it's nicely on my shoulder for prone shooting. And what I found, I didn't have a strap yet, that I put the strap on so I could put my hand in here just to give myself a little bit of preload so I'm not just free shooting. Um, and I think that's going to make it sit down. It shot really well. I was really happy. There's... Um, you know, I think we had uh, four shots in a row that were on the plate and then just off and then on again and that sort of stuff. Just missed the bottle, but shot really, really, really well. Um, uh, just not quite good enough for the day. Anyway, I just wanted to show you, like I said, a bit of fun. A challenge we'll revisit, um, but um, love the old rifle. Really great. Shoots, obviously, a really good round, the 6.555 or the Swede, as people want to call it. Um, anyway, a bit of fun. Okay, there it is. It's on the side. Oh, listen, it's only an inch off center, inch yeah. and a half off center, so really nice and straight. Good shot, Sam. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Listen, hi guys, we're out here. Um, this is obviously on the video, which we had the Mauser out trying to shoot at a thousand yards and trying to hit this bottle. Um, when we're coming halfway down the hill, I thought, listen, we'll try something else. There was another job we're up to today. Um, and we've got, well Sam's got a 357 Marlin rifle, um, which is the lever action rifle, it's actually the 1894C. Um, got that rifle and just wanted to check at sighting how it was sighting um, and run some 38 Special, it's just 38 Special um, ball ammo through it and have a little play, just see how it's sighting essentially, make it to run some shots through it. But I thought, listen, why not see if we can actually finish off this little bugger that managed to dodge all the bullets, see if we could finish it off. So in the spirit of pushing the boundaries and, and, and trying some things a little bit harder, I set up what I thought was going to be about 200 yards, but where the paddock was in the right place, it actually was the 264.9. Okay, so like I said, you're holding probably 10 foot above the target actually is where you're actually aiming at. Okay, just at 9 o'clock, like half a target off to the right. See that one? I stand behind it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, just uh, that. What you saw that? It was bottom left, was it? Yeah, bottom left corner. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That was Little, right. little <laughs> and right. Okay. Okay. Just yeah, half target low. Yeah. Pretty central. That was a good shade shade. <laughs> Cheating. Oh, nine o'clock. Okay. That's a good height then. Yep, that's a good height, nine o'clock. Oh, three o'clock. Okay. Oh, sorry, that was nine o'clock. Sorry, I was a bit low. I went wrong around. See it wobble before you yeah, hit bang, it. don't you? Oh, that was three o'clock. Okay. You're right on it. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. All right. Okay, hammer back and off you go. 
Alrighty guys. Shot, get him. Awesome. <laughs> well, listen, I, Sam went on, had some shots, and listen, I'll, I'll let her explain how that all went. Yeah, it was my second lot of 10 shots. I, I don't have as stable a form as Mark does with the shooting, but um, I got it on my first lot of the second 10, and I hit it. Sometimes wobbly works. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so she does a good job with that rifle. It's a great little rifle to shoot. Um, I had 10 rounds with it. You'll see that. Got on the play a little bit. Um, Probably the only thing I'd say about a lever action is a bit tempting to go a bit fast, but um, yeah, listen, great rifle, and um, we got the little bugger. So um, thanks for checking in on us, and we'll we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. See you later. Hi guys, Sam here. For folks that are interested in our products that you will have seen in our videos, these are all products that Mark has designed through our experience in ELR shooting. We manufacture them here ourselves. The likes of our adjustable bag bases bag riders, bipod systems, muzzle brakes, shot data recording sets, and even our great fun little 22 long rifle target. These are all available in our web store, the links to which are below this video, along with our contact information. And guys, we work hard at putting these videos together, so we appreciate all the help we can get. For those of you who haven't subscribed, don't forget, and hit the bell so you get notifications of when our videos come out. It would be awesome to get some financial support. So for those of you who can, you can purchase support bits on our web store which help us bring these videos to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.